Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Friday, August 23rd, another week gone like that, and we're getting to the last week of the month <laughs> next week. But anyway, God is good. Thank you again for joining with us. Please hit the share button. We get more people. It's still growing, Prayer Warriors, so we got quite a team praying, and that's that's awesome. There's nothing here, you know, no, nothing besides prayer. Amen. A little devotional, a little yappy from me, and mostly all prayer from that part. So we're up to 1 Corinthians chapter 5. I hope you're enjoying the book of Corinthians. And here Paul is talking about immortality or, or sexual, um, not pureness, in the church. And it's so sad because back then, they judged it. Nowadays, you'd be thrown in jail for trying to say anything. But here he says in verse 5, Deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of his, of his flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of our Lord Jesus. So still showing the goodness and the compassion of God, that even when we make mistakes, we're going to lose eternal rewards, but we're still saved if we accepted Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, so today we're praying for North Macedonia, 2 million population, 0.2% evangelical Christians. Today in the States, we're praying for Alabama, 49% evangelical Christians. And the state of Maine, here we go, to the East Coast, 14%. What a difference. Tennessee, 52. Mississippi, 41. Alabama, 49. Now, here we go. Maine, 14. Tomorrow, New Hampshire, 13. Vermont, 11. It's really interesting because great revivals were on this East Coast. You think of Finney and others that had great moves along the East Coast. But anyway, we keep doing what the Lord's told us to do. Our prayer focus today is scripture engagement and Bible translations, and they're getting more and more of that done. Amen. God bless these people that do this painstaking work. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Precious Father, we thank you for another day. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be very, 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 very glad in it. I thank you for this special day, this day, Lord, where we look up knowing that our redemption is, is drawing nigh. Lord, your word teaches us exactly what's going to go on before your return. And really, when you see these things converging, you know it's soon, even at the door. But our Father is long-suffering, desiring that none perish, but all be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth. So, Lord, you're long-suffering, you're patient, we're going to be patient also. We're going to just keep on doing what you've told us to do, right here in prayer, sharing the gospel when the door opens, giving to our financial ability that we can give, Father, whatever it might be. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, I love you. We love you today. We just take a moment and just put our hands up like this and just love on them. Love you, Abba. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done, all that you're doing. You're so good. You're so good. You are forever faithful, Lord. Thank you that we can worship you. We know that worship is the highest type of prayer. We know there's many kinds of prayer, prayer of intercession, petition, supplication, agreement, on and on. But the prayer of praise and worship goes on top of them all. Because when we praise and worship you, it's saying that we trust you, Lord, that we trust you. So we do trust you today. We look to you. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Father, as we begin our time of prayer, we lift up this United States of America. And Lord, what I see is just heartbreaking, Lord. Even in this election, it's just mind-boggling what we're seeing already. Oh God in heaven, we pray for our country. God, help America. It needs help. We need help. We repent. We seek your face. 
And Lord, we want to see healing in our nation. I don't know if we're past that tipping point. I don't know where we're at. You do, Lord. You're the God of judgment. We're the, God, we're the people of prayer, Lord. So we pray. We pray. Just as Hezekiah prayed, and he asked for more years, and you gave him 15 more years, we pray also. But we also know this to prophet Jeremiah, that even though the false prophets were all saying, everything's going to get better, everything's going to get wonderful, watch and see. Jeremiah kept true that, no, it's not going to get better. You're going into captivity. Lord, I don't know. I'm not going to prophesy. Everything's going to get better. Everything's going to get better. Because I don't know if things are going to get better. But what I do pray is for the lost. I pray for individual people, Lord. I don't know where our nation is going, but I pray for individuals. When I see an abortion clinic right in front of the Democratic uh, Convention, I pray. I pray for people, Lord, for their eyes to be open. I pray for the people of Alabama, the people of Maine. We pray, Father. We pray. We pray for our world today. Lord, as it's the Middle East that we're praying for, I pray for Jordan, Syria, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, 0.5% evangelical Christians, Yemen, Kuwait. Church fan, listen to this from the top down. 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.02, 1.5 in Kuwait. That means all those other people are going to hell. Somehow, Lord, how can they be reached? This 99%, how can they be reached with the gospel message? Lord, we pray for visions and dreams for them in the Middle East. We pray for their hearts to be open, that they would see the falseness of what they're doing and come to the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except by me. Peter said, there is salvation in no other but the name of Jesus. My Lord Jesus again said, he who has the Son has life. Who has, he who does not have the Son has the wrath of God upon him, has death. We pray for these people. We pray for our world, Lord. Lord, the gate is open. But I know that door is going to be shut. And the five virgins with the oil are going to go in and the other ones are going to be without. Lord, most people will not survive the tribulation period. We pray for the loss. We pray for the 8 billion people on planet Earth. We pray for Christians that we would be bold in our faith and do what we need to do. We pray for Israel today. And we pray for them also when we think that there's 0.7% evangelical Christians in Israel. We pray that their eyes will be open. They gave us Jesus, Mary, Joseph, the apostles. And now we pray for them, Lord. We pray that they would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I thank you. Father, we pray for scripture engagement in Bible translations throughout the world. Lord, I have so many Bibles, probably a hundred of them, probably a 500 on my phone, Lord. But Lord, so many people have never even seen a Bible. We pray for these, the, the scripture engagement, evangelism, Lord, Bible translation. And I thank you for that, Lord. We lift up North Macedonia and we pray for this area today. With the elections coming this year, the team requests prayer for justice to rule and for good leadership for their country. We pray that people would not put all their hopes in human leaders, amen, but rather that they would seek Jesus, the only true ruler. We pray for God's will to be done in this election. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name. We lift up ministries today. I lift up one hope. Open Bible churches, open doors, operation mobilization, opportunity international, partners international, and pioneer. We lift up the voice of the martyrs, the persecuted church, the Gideons, Lord, 
and praying effectively for the lost. We pray for all these different ministries. We lift up the body of CFFC. We pray for the sick in our church right now. We pray for Sister Gail, Sister Wendy. We pray for Brother Bob Meeker's birthday yesterday. We pray for others, Lord, others in our church that need help today. I thank you for that. We lift up every member, attender, and guest, and I just thank you, Lord, for your word going forth in power. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, Lord, and we pray for the needs of brothers and sisters in our church, and we pray, Father, that you are a God that meets needs, and I thank you. Thank you for these needs being met. I lift them up. We hold them before you. Stretch out your hands towards them, please. And we pray for fellow brothers and sisters. So many needs. So many needs. Oh, my, oh, my. We pray for those. I pray for those that have lost loved ones recently. For your comfort upon them, Lord. Your comfort. Even those that have lost loved ones a while ago. It still comes up. Tears still flow. We pray for your comfort. You are the God of comfort, and you have given us that blessed hope, the return of our Jesus, that we'll meet our loved ones in the sky and then go be with the Lord, and forever we will be with the Lord. Oh, my. When we go back to the beginning of Genesis, it shows us so clear what your plan is, Lord. It's good and not of evil to give us a future and a blessed hope. I pray for my brothers and sisters. And I pray for healing in their bodies, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Your grace upon them, your kindness upon them. And I thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Somebody with an ear, something in the ear today. I don't know if it's ringing or lo losing hearing. Be healed in Jesus' name. Someone that had a hip replacement, quick healing in Jesus' name quick healing someone that broke a bone or, or something in your body you're, you're doing it the work that the doctor has told you but I'm believing for a quick healing upon your body now Lord we thank you for this we thank you for this day we thank you for the joy of our salvation we are looking up we're living in warp speed day scripture is being fulfilled I thank you for that Oh, we worship you, our King, our Lord, our everything. We love you. The Lord bless you now and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom, shalom. Hey, God is good. Amen. Remember, God's not dead. He's surely alive. Have an awesome day. And unless the Lord returns today, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.